Hey y'all, it's Cami J Official. Welcome to my video. It's Cami J Official, so let's start the show. To my subscribers, listen, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. To anyone that is new here, welcome. I do natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle videos. And if you happen to like this video, I hope that you would consider giving it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, y'all, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about everything that I did in order to grow my hair from this to this where my hair is today right now my hair is currently at bra strap length and i am looking to grow my hair back to the state it was before i ended up breaking all my hair off which was waist length natural hair so i just want to give you a word to the wise just just a little warning this video is not going to contain any gimmicks it is not going to contain any miracle products but what it will do is contain information for a practical approach to a natural hair routine that can work for you if you apply the steps. Like y'all know right now, there's 50, 11 different videos telling you that if you go buy this $99 oil that was hard pressed from the Himalayan mountains, it's going to grow your hair exponentially. Like, I think we all know that those gimmicks are out there to try to make as much money as possible, but I'm not a gimmick believer. I do believe in putting in a routine that works and this routine worked for me. So I'm just here to, you know, basically share that with you and really hope that this video is helpful and provides you the information that you need. So just to give you a little information, what led me to do a second big chop is because I ended up messing up my natural hair and I will post an iCard up here for the video so that way if you want to watch it you can about how I ended up having to cut off my waist length natural hair I had to cut about 10 to 11 inches off because I made just a lot of natural hair mistakes I cut my natural hair at home I did the big chop myself that was a mistake after I did the big chop at home like y'all can see my hair looked terrible like I had this ugly uneven bob it was a little longer in the front and it was super short in the back and I was just like yo why did I do this I was so impatient so after getting my hair professionally cut y'all I reevaluated my natural hair routine I completely simplified my natural hair routine and y'all the simplification is what got me to where I am today, to bra strap length hair. So when it came to simplifying my hair routine, I'm going to explain this a little further. Number one, I was washing my natural hair way too often. I was washing my hair at least once a week and that was a mistake for me because I have low porosity hair and my hair is already very prone to damage and breakage and me just doing my hair every week was putting a lot of strain and stress on my natural hair. So when I did my reevaluation of my natural hair routine guys, I decided that I was going to wash my hair once every two weeks once every two weeks and when it came time for wash day instead of me just like hopping in the shower and just washing my hair all willy-nilly i actually began to detangle my hair before washing it and this step actually led to a lot of improvement in the overall health of my hair and it became a staple part of my length retention routine the other thing that i did again was taking the time to sit and do my hair i stopped doing my hair in a rush i stopped doing my hair while frustrated and y'all may laugh and you may think like okay that's really not a big deal it is if you have somewhere to be that day and you are under stress and you are under pressure and you are in a rush baby girl honey don't 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 do your hair that day don't don't try to wash style and all of that with your hair that day because i'm telling you, you're going to end up ripping a lot of your natural hair out ask me how i know because i've been there i've been there before in a rush having something to do and rushing through wash day is just not the thing that you want to do the next thing that really helped with my natural hair growth journey over the past year was getting rid of products that did not contain water okay if water was not the first ingredient in there i didn't want to use it i didn't want to use it because again my hair is very dry it's low porosity it is prone to breakage and my hair needs 
moisture. So if the product did not have water in it over the course of that year, I was not using it. I noticed that I was having like way less breakage, right? Which was extremely good because me trying to grow my hair back, length retention, moisture, those things go hand in hand. So that's what you're definitely going to want to do. You're going to want to make sure that you have a really good leave-in conditioner and that you have a really good styler or a really good gel that contains water that will not dry your hair out and will really help to encourage length retention in your natural hair. Another thing that really helped me grow my hair over the past year, for real, for real, guys, was stop having hand in hair syndrome. Hand in hair syndrome, just doing too much to your hair, always brushing your hair, always combing your hair, always touching your hair, always parting your hair, always doing your hair. Hand in hair syndrome really can destroy your natural hair because the more you manipulate your hair, the more your hair is going to be prone to breakage. So I took the simplified low manipulation route when it came to my natural hair. Now the style that really helped me over the past year was very simple. I wore my hair in twist with my own hair for about that entire year. Occasionally, occasionally, like if I was going out on the weekend or whatever, I would wear my hair out in a twist out, but when I came home, I would just go ahead and put the twist back in and rock my hair like that. Because the name of the game for hair growth and length retention is low manipulation. I know you're probably gonna watch other videos and people are going to try to share the secret as getting some type of expensive oil or some expensive cream for your hair, but that's really not it. Really for me, the secret was low manipulation. Set your hair and forget it. Move on and do not touch your hair again until you have to do your hair. And y'all really, that was the key for me. And I will do a video about my favorite products that I use for length retention. So stay tuned for that later on on my channel. Now twist for me over the course of that year was my protective style. I have learned for myself that adding extra hair in my hair just doesn't work. My hair doesn't like it. It does not work for me. But if it works for your hair, if you know that your hair can tolerate it and your hair grows well in protective styles that have added hair, then go ahead and do that. Trust me, these are suggestions that I'm making to you and I'm just letting you know what works for me. So this is another disclaimer. Natural hair is not one size fits all. You are going to have to tweak and fine tune the things that I'm saying to work for your natural hair. But I can definitely say wearing my hair in that protective style was amazing. Number one, I didn't have hand and hair syndrome anymore. Number two, wearing my hair in twists was actually pretty flexible. I was able to like style my twist in a couple of different ways so I wasn't like ultra bored. And number three, it just gave me a break from feeling overwhelmed when it came to my natural hair. I know nowadays, like a lot of people post about their natural hair journey and what you need to do to grow your hair. And they have like a 50 step wash day routine. I don't believe in that. Like I honestly am telling you the truth that when I cut out doing a lot of things and just made my routine as simple as possible, stop touching my hair, it really helped my natural hair to grow. And of course, again, using those products that contain water, getting a great leave-in conditioner, getting a great styler for my natural hair, all those things were what really helped to grow my natural hair. So another thing that I kind of peeped when it came to reestablishing my natural hair routine and growing my hair back from the big chop to bra strap length is I realized that I don't like detangling my hair with brushes. When I was detangling my hair before y'all, like before the break off incident, I realized that like I would get a lot of breakage by using detangling brushes. So I went back to old school. I went back to using a wide tooth comb and that works well for me. I noticed that I did not have half as much hair coming out of my head or experiencing half as much breakage as I was before. But again, if brushes work for you, then boo, go ahead and keep using a brush. I'm just letting you know, I'm just letting you know they didn't work. It didn't work for me. I know probably right now you're probably asking like, okay, Cami, so does that mean I can no longer do hot oil treatments? Does that mean that I no longer deep condition? Listen, you you can, but I would say you don't need to do it as often. My goodness, I saw somebody posted something and they said like they deep condition their hair once a week and I was like, that that's a lot. That's a lot to me, that's four times a month. And for me, once a month or once every two months of deep conditioning 
was perfectly fine. Why? Because I'm using things in my natural hair care routine that contain moisture. So throughout the course of that month, my hair is no longer feeling dry. It's no longer feeling brittle. It's no longer breaking left and right because I've realized that I need to use products that contain water for my natural hair to grow and my natural hair to flourish. And of course, the final thing that you're going to need in order to have a successful natural hair journey is patience. That's, that's the key. Patience, a simple routine, and making sure that you're doing what you know your natural hair likes and what your natural hair loves y'all. I'm telling you. So reevaluate your natural hair routine and honestly ask yourself, if you are looking to grow your hair, ask yourself like, am I doing too much? Am I touching my hair too much? Am I styling my hair too much? Am I experiencing a lot of breakage? All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video about my practical approach about how I grew my natural hair back from the big chop, the second big chop to bra strap length hair right now. If you did enjoy the video, I hope that you would consider giving this video a like and then also consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell so that way you know whenever I post new videos. But as always, y'all, thank you so much for joining me. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!